Hey guys, it's Bob here again, and today I'm going to go over doing a USB um, or a bootable USB uh, drive for live ISOs uh, to install uh, again to install operating systems on a computer or go in and fix a problem with a computer. Um, maybe you forgot your password, you need to reset your password, things like that. But for this instance, what we're doing is we're going to be um, setting up a USB uh, installer disk for um, Proxmox because I'm going to be doing an upcoming video about doing uh, Proxmox server with uh, Plex and some file uh, services on that for either your home or your RV. And I just kind of wanted to do a preface video of uh, either uh, Belena Etcher if you're on Mac I'll link that uh, that video that I've done uh, up in the top with a card and um, I'll also put a link in the bottom in the description uh, and then that's for Mac OS Rufus is only for Windows operating systems and um, then I've got two other solutions where you can do uh, multiple ISOs all in one drive and I'll go over those in, in a future video as well and I'll link them uh, down in the description. But anyway, since we're doing Rufus today, the first thing you want to do is you want to go grab Rufus, and you can go re search Rufus USB, and you can just click on that, and then it takes you to their website, or takes you to a search for their website. So this is what we're looking for is Rufus.ie. I'll have a link for that in the description below. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down just a little bit. That's a little bit of information about it. And then um, scroll down and download if you're using 64-bits uh, or if you're using 32-bit Windows, uh, you download your appropriate uh, software there. Once that is done, then you can um, open up that program, which I already have downloaded and on my, my computer here and it can you can see it's pulled up my 16 gigabyte flash drive uh, I already did Proxmox on this particular flash drive with Belana Etcher in my other video and now I'm gonna just blow that off and, and redo uh, Proxmox um, here on this one so we want to select uh, disk or ISO image and then we'll go over here and if you hit the arrow you can select it or download it I've already got it downloaded so I'll just click on select and that's going to bring up my download folder and here we go Proxmox VE virtual environment 8.0 we'll go ahead and open that up uh, okay that's just a little um, pop-up window saying that they've got to do DD instead of uh, ISO file copy mode which is fine it doesn't really matter and then we'll come down here and just click start and then it's going to do its thing uh, it's going to warn you that all data on the device is going to be erased and yes of course we're, we understand that um, partitions multiple partitions because it's been done before that's okay we're going to ignore that it's going to do all of its um, thing again and now you can see down here at the bottom it's writing the image and it's actually writing pretty quickly I don't think I'm gonna speed through this because it doesn't look like it's gonna take too long so we'll give that half a second to finish and down here you can see where it's telling you what it's using Proxmox uh, VE 8.0 just about there Oops. sorry about that we'll just click back over here 84% 87 percent 89 98 100 alright now it's refreshing the partition layout and that's it you're all done if we go over here we can see that partition G yeah it, it doesn't work because 
um, it's a bootable drive so anyway at this point you're all set you're all done you can um, boot your computer off of your USB your newly created USB and install Proxmox all right look forward to the, uh, the upcoming videos that I've got about the other uh, solutions for USB installation media and look for that uh, Proxmox video coming up on how to uh, set up your home server where you can do things like run Plex and other services file servers and all kinds of good stuff you can really do with that Proxmox but I just want to get into a, a basic um, outline for those of us who you know may want a Plex server at home or in their RV when we've got no um, no internet or no uh, phone service or you know no Netflix no <laughs> no Hulu but we want to be able to watch something on our TVs uh, that way we can do it all right and as always down in the description there'll be links for uh, Rufus and uh, my Amazon affiliate link and I appreciate you guys buying any of your stuff that you need there whether it be USB drives for uh, creating your bootable USB media or hard drives to place your installation files on in your new computer or hair gel or whatever it doesn't matter you don't have to buy something electronic just because you're using my link um, you can buy anything you want and it helps the channel great thanks guys we'll talk to you later bye bye